Hey there, I'm Corey Huff, and I am the founder of TheAbundantArtist.com, and this is a guide to some of the resources in the free resource library, um, which you can access at TheAbundantArtist.com. Um, if you click up here in the top right-hand section, it says free resource library. Uh, if you're a member and you click that, you can log in and access it. Uh, if you are not a member and you click that, you'll get a page that asks you to sign up. It's totally free, um, and this is what you get. So uh, scrolling down here, uh, one of the things that a lot of artists ask me and one of the things that uh, we get the most website traffic for is artists want to figure out where they can sell their art online, what online galleries or stores uh, are selling original art as well as prints and other stuff. So uh, we have created quite uh, a few resources and put dozens and dozens of hours into these resources. So uh, I want to show you a couple of them and show you what you can do with them. So the first one is print on demand features. And what I usually recommend is that you right click and say open link in new tab. Um, and I've got that spreadsheet open right here. Now when you open it, uh, you'll get a view that looks like this where it says view only. Um, that's, this is just so that people don't mess it up. Uh, so you can't edit the spreadsheet and mess it up. Um, and basically the print on demand features is all of the websites that we are aware of that do fine art prints um, that you can either, either upload your images directly to those websites or you can set up a connection from your website to their service so that if somebody buys a print, um, this company will print it and ship it for you. Um, and there are a list of, you can see on the left hand side, there's 24 of them. Um, so you might want to take some time to dig through it. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about what this spreadsheet, what information is in this spreadsheet um, so that you can use it. So the first one is the Moz Rank. Now Moz is a search engine optimiza optimization company and uh, all you really need to know is that the higher the Moz Rank, the more traffic that website gets. So you can see in the second rank here, absolutearts.com is a 5.25. Um, art.com is a 7.13, uh, the, the highest the scale goes is 10. Um, so you get an idea of how much traffic these websites get. Uh, 4.31 is still pretty good. Um, so you can get an idea that some of these websites can send you quite a bit of, or can, can accumulate quite a bit of traffic. Um, the second column is the payout to artists column. This is based on uh, their uh, terms and conditions uh, as of the time of this recording what the payout is to the artist. So uh, for absolutearts.com, that's uh, at the premier level, which is their lowest uh, uh, level, um, they pay 20% of the sale price to the artist for the print. Um, and then it just keeps going from there. Payment thresholds, um, so you know what, what payment thresholds or um, basically how much money do you have to earn before they'll pay you, uh, that's that. And then processing fees, uh, this is the fees that are required to get on the website and or the fees that are required with every transaction. Some of these websites charge a like a 5% fee per transaction or something like that, but most of them are free because you pay a monthly fee. Um, there's a yearly cost for some of them, so the ones that have a yearly cost, we note that. Um, this is a really important column, column G, releases the buyer info to the artist. So the important thing here uh, is to know if somebody makes a purchase, do you get to see who made the purchase and do you get to get their contact information? Um, now, some of these websites, most of these websites are a no uh, because they want to keep the customer. But uh, for you as an artist, you may want to consider going with a company that releases the buyer info to you, the artist, so that you can follow up with that person, thank them, and invite them to join your mailing list. Uh, curation of art by the staff, uh, meaning do the people who work at the company curate the art or is, or is it up to, open to any artist who wants to to upload their art? This just creates a different sort of culture for each website. Some websites attract collectors that are interested in curated art. Uh, some websites attract people who, are, who don't care about curation. They just want whatever that website has to offer. Um, internet search features. Uh, this is uh, how well do, or internal search features, not an internet search features. Internal search features is how easy is it to search for something that you want on this website? How good, uh, do, does it have a, a very good search feature? Does it have a search feature or are there no search features? Um, paid promotion options. Can you pay these websites to appear uh, either on their homepage or in their email marketing or in some other way? Uh, next column, mobile optimized, does it look good on a smartphone? This is really important. Most websites are gonna have this now. Um, custom design of your page. Can you customize the color, look, and branding of the page that your art appears on, or is it all the same? 
um, stats and analytics that show the number of views of your art. Uh, this is really helpful because even though a website may get uh, a lot of traffic, you may want to be able to see like how many people are viewing the individual pieces of art as well as how many people are viewing the individual page that your art shows up on um, or, or your overall account that your art shows up on. Uh, site culture, is there any sort of community? Is there any sort of uh, forum or anything like that that you can join? Um, we've noted that here. Additional products. So in addition to fine art prints, do they also offer things like printing art on uh, mugs or calendars or other things? Um, we note that there. And then any additional notes that we think are necessary. So hope you enjoy this resource and have a great day.